Listen, we're on island time, my friend. I got nothing but time. I've never been to a place that is as vibrant with color. I would put this at the very top of my bucket list. This is amazing. This island just keeps on blowing my mind every day that goes by. Welcome to Curacao! Pastel-colored architecture? This is yours? Yeah. No kidding, man. World-class beaches? Do not adjust your television set. What you see here is real. And water, as blue as its famous liqueur. <sighs> that's nice. Oh, that's fuerte. <laughs> the Dutch Caribbean island of Curacao forms part of the ABC Islands. And it's nestled right between Aruba and Bonaire. Colonized by the Netherlands in the 17th century, its capital, Willemstad, was once the epicenter of European trade. Oh, wow. Giving it a distinct architectural style that is being kept alive by its designation as a UNESCO World Heritage City. You feel that? Ooh! And connecting the city's two sides, Punda and Ultrabanda, is the Queen Emma Bridge fondly known as the Swinging Old Lady. I'm rocking, not because I've had too much to drink, I'm rocking because I'm on a bridge that is floating. Tourist tip number one, just don't get stuck on it. Gotta go, the bridge is about to close. As it opens for oncoming vessels. Woo! Indiana Jones! The one thing that stands out to me is the array and the palette of color. We have this beautiful color on this island is because of the governor. So he came with law saying that everyone should paint their buildings any other color than white. Tell me about the people of Curacao. We live here in this island with 81 nationalities. Talk about multicultural, huh? Then we all live together friendly, enjoying the island life. I noticed uh, the spoken language here is very unique. It's called papiamento. Papiamento. Exactly. It means to speak. OK. And it is a combination of Spanish, Dutch, English, French, and Portuguese. We just throw them in a blender and, and, out, and out comes papiamento. Exactly. So how then would you say, welcome to Curacao? Bon bini na corso. Bon bini na corso. <laughs> the warmth and vibrancy of Curacao hits you the moment you touch land. And we've only just scratched the surface. I am about to embark on an absolutely incredible experience. This experience isn't just exciting, it's also unique. All right. Climbing aboard, Captain. Hatch coming down. Woo! Curacao is one of only three locations on the planet where someone like me can get into a submarine and dive to depths of up to 1,000 feet. This is Substation Curacao. Listen, we haven't even left the surface yet. This is already one of the coolest things I've ever seen. One of the world's first mini submarines for tourists. It's a surreal experience. Taking passengers to greater depths than even scuba divers can reach. And this is actually where they have this feeding station right in front of the ocean lens. Oh. And then Look the one with the yellow tails fish. are the yellow tail snappers. And just minutes into our journey, we encounter one of the greatest wonders of the diving world, the Blue Edge. Wow. A steep drop off into an ecosystem to rival any other. It looks like I can literally reach out and like Correct. touch this stuff. Oh yeah. my God, look. This is uh, finger coral. It this looks like fingertips pointing up. And that's alive, right? Yeah, that's a whole colony. Oh, we got a bunch of jacks in front of us. Okay. Just passing. Just right cruising. There. I've never been in water this clear, ever. Our reefs are pristine, clear, warm waters, uh, healthy reefs. As we dive deeper... Wow, it's getting dark. Daylight diminishes. And with the darkness... We're almost at 500 feet. ...comes a whole new world. That's a lionfish. He's yeah, chasing us. Well, he's using our light to hunt, actually. Oh, OK. Oh, there's a little guy, look at that little guy. What's that? It's multiple organisms that cling together. 
Okay. And form this string. Everything down here just looks untouched and serene and beautiful. We've now passed 900 feet. I can see the bottom. I mean, it's, it's otherworldly down here. We might as well be on the surface of the moon. Woo! Touchdown. We've hit the bed of the ocean. Everything about being down here, it's cool, it's calm, it's peaceful. Kill, uh, kill all the lights. Here, boom. Oh my God, it's so quiet. We are a thousand feet below the surface of the ocean. What are you laughing at, David? I like the fact that you're just not shutting up. <laughs> After a magical two hour voyage, we make our ascent back to the surface. It's like seeing it for the first time again. And on to dry land. Ooh! We did it! That was insane. That was one of the coolest experiences of my entire life. First Look is sponsored by the Curacao Tourist Board. Feel it for yourself at curacao.com. Conveniently located outside of the hurricane belt, Curacao boasts year-round sunshine making it the perfect destination to enjoy the island's many beaches. We're here at Playa Canepa, which is one of the most gorgeous beaches in the world. What I'm standing on top of is one of the most iconic cliff jumping spots in all of Curacao. Curacao! But beyond the beaches lies a myriad of landscapes just waiting to be explored. Man, this is beautiful. I did not expect to see cactuses and desert in Curacao. It's crazy, man. Here on the island, we have a very strong wind. It actually carries sand from the Sahara Desert. This is from the Sahara Desert? Yeah. Pretty much every kind of landscape imaginable here. Even for a small island like that, it's amazing. Let's go check it Let's out. Let's check it out, man. Yeah. After you. Wow, what a spectacular view, man. This is the Cristofo Park, the tallest hill on the island. We were just on a desert, and now there's like this lush national park behind us. Hiking Mount Cristofel is definitely something you should do if you come to Curacao. It's a must, man. Wow, man, this is beautiful. Welcome to Siete Boca, man. Siete is seven, and Boca is a mouth. Seven mouths. Yeah, here are the seven mouths of the island. This is absolutely stunning. This is nature at its finest. Can't ask for any other place that's got the whole world cramped into one little island. It's amazing. And with Curacao being located just 12 degrees north of the equator, it is just this dry and arid climate that makes it perfect for growing one of the world's most ancient and mythical plants. Ow! Who put that there? Welcome to the aloe vera plantation in Curacao. What a beautiful garden you have here. Yeah, it is. We have uh, around 100,000 aloe vera plants here. It's everything from plant to product are made here. How is Curalo different from other aloe vera products? Curalo is one of the most pure aloe vera products in the world. So the products contain a really high concentration of aloe vera. Tell me a little bit about the history of the aloe vera plant. It comes from, from Egypt, so it was used by the, by the pharaohs. But what we also know is that uh, Jesus Christ himself, he was born by aloe vera. He was embalmed with aloe vera. Yes. Cut and rip. That's it. There it is. We always uh, pick out the outer side leaves because they have the most gel in it. How many of these do you harvest a day? We do 20,000 on a day. After uh, harvesting, we have to uh, wash the plants. It's more on the wrist is what you're saying. It's more so like this. Vamos, vamos. Lié. Más. Más rápido. This is where we extract the inner filet out of the plant. And it looks a little bit like filleting a fish. So let me show you something. OK. OK. Just, just eat it. Pure aloe vera. 
it's bitter. This has it's a, a little lot, bitter. This has a lot of good vitamins, minerals, polysaccharides. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Bit like a steak, right? T steak? No. And after filtering and adding preservatives to the product, we're ready to put the fruits of our labor to the ultimate test. The amount of time that we've spent outside today, I mean, I think you agree. The perfect way to end the day, make it official, will be Aloe Brothers, okay? Yes. <laughs> All right, Aloe Brothers. Aloe Brothers there we go, Aloe Brothers for life. Come on, get my shoulders a little bit. Thanks, man. Ooh, that's nice. The name Curacao derived from the Portuguese word meaning heart. And pulsing through its veins is a thriving art scene that adds an additional splash of color onto the island's visual landscape. Before you do anything, <laughs> you need to feel the artist in you. Hey, hey. And wielding the paintbrush is artist, poet, musician, and Curacao native Francis Slim. I've never been to a place that is as vibrant with color as Curacao is. Yeah, the art scene in Curacao is something very beautiful to see. It's very diverse, but in our own way. I have the privilege that I'm an artist. I can do this kind of things. This is yours? Yes. <laughs> no kidding, man. That's incredible. I like it. Yeah. The name of it is Three O'Clock Romance. Three O'Clock. Well, it's about 255, man. So if you try and kiss me, I guess no, I'll have no, to let no, it no, no. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. It's about love. I wrote something that said, "La, la, 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 love." There it is. La, love. Hey, la, 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 la. Would you still love you if you knew more of me? Would you still love you if you knew more of me? And she said, "Forever, Adam." And I said, "Forever, ever." I write poems for almost all of my artwork because most of my artwork are not just the painting. It begins with something you feel and you want to say, and then you make art. Me being new to Curacao, I'm sure there's like <laughs> some of the slang words that I should learn. What would those be? The first word you need to learn is douchey. Douchey. Okay, so is that a bad thing? Because where I'm from, douchey means like you're kind of lame. No, no, douchey is a good thing. Douchey is sweet. So am I douchey? No, no, I don't know that. So what else do I need to know? Bong. Bong. From bong is good. You can put the bong with, with the douchey. Bong douchey. Bong douchey. Yeah, so, so you're not just dripping in paint, you're dripping in finesse, my friend. <laughs> This is my art cave. Wow! Art cave, that about describes it, man. I'm gonna teach you to paint some. I would love that. <laughs> Come. All right. Before you do anything, you need to feel the artist in you. I need to become the artist. No, what is that, man? What would be your artist name? Uh, how do you say banana in papiamento? Bacoba. Can I be bacoba? Bacoba, it sounds well something, you it's know? It's good, huh? So where do you get your inspiration from? A lot of my inspiration come from Curacao. The nature and the people, the loud way of being. I'll tell you what, you know what made me paint better? What? If you played me some music. Bon douche! Huh? Ay, 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 bon douche! You like that one? Bon douche! I've never been more inspired in my entire <laughs> life. Ta-da! You know what I like about this? Every stroke of everyone is different. I can see your way of... So what you're saying is different strokes for different folks. And from colorful strokes... Who's had too much Curacao? To colorful pores. When most people hear Curacao, they don't necessarily think of the island, they think of the liqueur. Everyone knows the knows Curacao about the blue Curacao liqueur. And actually, the blue Curacao liqueur is original from this island, from this factory. It's made from the Laraja. What's a Laraja? It's like an orange, actually, okay. but it's not orange. The taste inside is really bitter, and we only use the peels for make our liqueur. So you want to make blue daiquiri? Here, here, twist my arm. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add one and a half of the blue liqueur. All right. Half shot of white Bacardi, one shot of lime juice, and a little bit of simple syrup to break the sour of the lime. Okay. okay. You want me to shake it? Okay, no problem. <laughs> Get it, Cloud. Get it. Get, Get it, Cloud. <laughs> Salud. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. 
Take it easy. <laughs> that's nice. Oh, that's fuerte. <laughs> Accommodations for first look provided by Livingston Yontiel Beach Resort. Hotels, villas, and apartments in beautiful Curacao. Now that is tasty. In Curacao, you'll find plenty of local dishes. We are going to try con cumbres taba. To tempt the palate. Mmm, so hearty. And for seafood lovers out there, the island's warm and temperate waters are teeming with Atlantic game fish. Oh, pull, 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 pull! Woo! This is the amberjack. On the island, they call it cabio, so it tastes like red snapper. And at waterfront restaurants like De Visere. One, two, three! Woo! You would have made a really good cowboy, you know that? The seafood is caught and delivered right to the door. We got dinner, boys! Get your fish here. Fresh baked eyes. You know, so can we go cook these up and eat them? Yeah, sure. All right, but first things first. What are we drinking to? To the bounty of the sea. Mind of the sea. Okay. Yo, Johnny. There's our catch of the day. Oh, uh, there we go, oh, man. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is some delicious fish. We just pulled fish out of the sea. Into the kitchen. And we're eating it, what, 10 minutes later? Yeah. They have this fresh fish. Poor guy went from swimming in the ocean to swimming in a deep fryer within 10 minutes. <laughs> and now in our stomach. Have you heard of the phrase bon appetit? Yeah. What's the papiamento version of bon appetit? Bon appetit. Bon appetit? Yeah. <laughs> As a native of Curacao, what is it that you love about this island? To feel free. To feel free. To do what, 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 whatever you want. Arriba, and there's no better feeling of freedom than on the streets of Curacao. Bon vini. Bon vini. Bon vini. I guess you heard that before, right? Welcome. All right. The energy here is incredible. This place is buzzing. It's buzzing. This is actually where it all happens. We are in Punda. Yeah, is uh, the center. Is our, our downtown. And on Thursday nights, we have this event called Punda Vibe. This is Punda Vibe. I try Punda Vibe stuff. Oh, hello, hello, hello. What's Punda Vibe? You can eat, you can drink, you can just sit and watch people. You have live musicians everywhere. And there's people dancing. One, two, three, left. One, two, three, right. Now there's something for everybody here. Woo! You want me to teach your face a pavimento? Sí. Okay, let's have Johnny Banana Tapalia. Wopi, wopi, malu. Wopi, wopi, malu? Wopi, wopi, malu. What does that mean? Johnny Banana dance. Very, very, very bad. Nightlife in Curacao, is, it has different facets. Like, let's say if you're coming with your family, then this is a very good place to start. What if I want to leave my family at home and have a night out? Can we do that too? You have time, right? I got time. Listen, we're on island time, my friend. I got nothing <laughs> we can but time. Do this. Lucky for me, the party doesn't stop when the sun goes down. Located on the eastern side of the island, Yontil Beach keeps the libations flowing with the biggest happy hour on Curacao and serves up an array of activities on both sand. Let me show you how beach tennis is done. And sea. Never done flyboarding. What's no. flyboarding? It's, uh, it's flying above water. I can uh, walk on water. You can walk on water. <laughs> Okay, so here we go, try yeah. it. Okay, backhand, two hands, yeah, low ball. You see, it's blocking. It's not like tennis where you're actually no, swinging through it. You have to much more work with your legs than, than, than with your arms. Oh, that was out, that was out. And the eight of dreams, that was good. 50%, I don't get more than three inches out of the water. Woo! 50% says I am the best fly boarder Curacao has ever seen. Woo! Flying high in Curacao! Woo! Home run! 
I mean, as if the beaches here aren't incredible enough, the people, the water, the sights, the sound, the art, the culture, there's truly something for everybody here. What better way to cap off the adventure, the trip, the vacation of a lifetime than flying into the Caribbean sunset? I think I've basically checked off 87 items on my bucket list that I didn't even know existed. And it happened all right here in this unassuming island in the middle of the Caribbean. Salud, Parque Rizal.